Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. This is the 11th episode of the Digital Art series here on PSD Touch Plus. Today, we are going to talk about techniques that we already discussed in previous tutorials, like using perspective, sketching, and shading objects. If you watched the previous episode there, we created some thumbnails for this project. So basically, I came up with a couple of ideas for a spaceship concept. And today, we are going to continue from that point. And I selected one of the thumbnail sketches from the previous episode, which you can see here on the left side. And from that sketch, we are going to create the drawing which you can see on the right. It won't take long because I recorded the whole drawing and I will show you a fast version of it. But it won't be too fast so you will be able to see everything and I will tell you always what I'm doing. In real time, this sketch took me roughly around an hour. And of course, if you spend more time with sketches, it can be also much more detailed. But for exploration and ideas, I think to learn this technique that I'm going to show today is really useful. And again, just like with everything, it's all about practice. So don't expect for the first time to make a brilliant sketch. Even my sketch, I'm, I'm not really keen on this sketch. It's not bad, but it's definitely there are some much better sketches and uh, spaceship concepts out there. I think you should never compare yourself to the greatest artists. You should always work hard and, and try to get recognized. So always compare your artwork to your previous art. So let's say do you, you do a sketch and then next time compare the second one to the first one. There will be always place for improvement and you will always see how you improve your skills. Try to always learn from each of your sketches. But the most important thing is to remember it's all about practice. So try to spend as much time as possible with drawing and Photoshop or even on the paper. And that will help you to become a real digital artist. So let's get started. Here are the first lines that I need for this sketch. This is the perspective. So I don't need the vanishing point. I just roughly have these lines um, leading up to the vanishing point. Okay. And I'm going to start drawing using these vanishing lines or these construction lines. And first start with the wings. And uh, I'm, I would be able to do the perspective more precisely, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. I want to keep it rough at this stage. Um, so it's still just an idea. I would like to see how it looks. And if I like the shape and if I'm happy with the whole composition, then probably I would draw the whole thing again from scratch and just make sure that the perspective is, uh, is perfect and everything is there. Um, I might even decide to do another view of the same uh, concept. But at this time, um, I'm just quickly working on this sketch and working with the lines. Uh, to define the shape. Obviously, I can always alter it from the thumbnail that we have on the left, which is just a guide. It's uh, nothing that I have to always follow exactly. So it just helps me to um, start working with something. And now I have the basic line so I can draw the shadow under uh, the spaceship. At this stage, the shadow looks like uh, that the shadow, the shadow is directly below the spaceship. So that means the spaceship is um, on, the, on land, so it's not flying. But later on, I will probably change that. And I'm using one layer, another layer for the vanishing lines. But apart from that, I'm working on one layer. 
I don't want to uh, make it difficult. So I keep everything on one layer. And because this is a sketch, I don't want to spend again uh, too much time on making everything non-destructive because I would like to make rough changes at this stage. As you can see, I turned the opacity down and this is another layer actually that I'm working on now. This is just to uh, clean up the lines and I will probably get rid of the other layer, the original sketch. So after I had the, the rough lines, rough construction lines, I created another layer and I worked up this uh, next level. So you can see if I turn it on and off, you can see before and after. And I still keep the sketchy layer on while I fill in the shadows. So I use a bigger brush and I just quickly uh, sketch in the shadow below the spaceship and that shadow obviously will help me to define the source of the light as well will be probably on the top so this will be lit from the from above this object the spaceship and i also would like to define more lines as you can see on the wings i already have a couple of lines and on the spaceship as well uh, just to define the form even better and now I'm going to use uh, the gray color as my base color. So I quickly uh, filled in the whole spaceship with, the, with that color. And again, it can be on the same layer as your construction lines. And once you are re ready with that, you can start using uh, again your brush, but with a white uh, color and just change the opacity Usually I use uh, pure white, but I change the opacity of the brush down to 5% or 10. And I change always between black and white. So I use black for shadows and white for highlights. And you can see I already started to create uh, these highlights and shadows. And I try to define um, the object with the light. As we've learned that in previous episodes, I try to have that one, two, three read. So different lighting or different light values on the top, on the left and on the right. So this is what I'm working on. I'm now using the mixer brush tool to uh, just wash out some, some of these strong construction lines. So the mixer brush is just simply drawing over the lines that you already have. It's, it's washing together the details and a mixer brush tool can be also used for drawing so as you can see I just get rid of those very strong construction lines and I also use the mixer brush to uh, have that speed lines behind the spaceship and that's the that's the main thing why I'm going to change the shadow at the bottom because here I decided to have the spaceship flying and going very fast so for that I will probably need to change the shadow okay so as you can see I'm working on the shadow now but I will probably get rid of it soon I go back and work more on the wings at this point and I try to define an and more interesting shape so I don't want to have it flat I definitely want to somehow show that this is a nice rounded shape like a shield and uh, it has these highlights and shadows uh, once again I'm just using the brush tool with white and and black and I'm defining um, the edges and I'm defining the darkest points going over and over again the whole uh, spaceship Try not to stick to one specific part on, on your sketch. Try to always work globally and uh, work it up step by step, but globally on the whole spaceship. Here I'm again using the mixer brush tool, again mixing a bit the colors together. And I'm starting to see the three dimensions of, on this object, but still I have to work uh, on the details. So here again I'm working on the construction lines or the edges which are still a bit too dark for me. So I'm trying to get rid of that. 
and now I'm cleaning up the lines and the shadow and I will make the shadow darker as well here I'm still uh, thinking of keeping the shadow just directly below the object but will be better once I move the shadow a bit further away so and I'm adding some more speed lights again with the mixer brush tool you just simply select the mixer brush tool and just uh, draw over the object to create those lines I'm at this point I'm using the burn tool and I just darkened some of the details the shadow details and now I switch back to the brush tool and I'm adding uh, pure black to the shadow so I wouldn't want to have a strong contrast between the shadow and the object that's why I'm using this dark uh, black for the shadow and you can see that it helped me to define the depth in the drawing so it's always good to have a strong contrast whenever you're creating sketches okay here I'm not convinced by the shadow so I'm going to remove it you can see I didn't edit the recording so it's like exactly the same way as I was working on it but faster I think it's four times faster than real time so now I'm defining the shadow and I'm using these construction lines to help me a bit with the with the defining the shadow so I try to uh, draw the shadow on the surface let's say that's that's the surface level and at the back I'm also trying to draw the shadow of that tail part and again I'm using the brush tool with uh, black once again to have that contrast I'm using a bigger brush size drawing over these parts something like that again this is not uh, accurate shadow I can now that I, I watch this whole recording again I can see that I would change a couple of things like the tail should be more down but this is all part of the learning I'm still learning all the time whenever I create a new sketch so uh, it's always good to um, start drawing something then leave it for a bit go back and you with a fresh eye you will always see some mistakes and problems now this is a really important part I'm using a very thin brush and as you can see I'm drawing on the wing now drawing these lines uh, these very thin and uh, uh, transparent lines to give me more definition on the shape and I, I was drawing over the wings as well so you can see uh, I mean uh, the spaceship itself and these little lines can really help to show the details and show the forms of the spaceship and uh, remember to use highlights and shadows also to define the three-dimensional form so as you can see I'm adding more and more detail on the body of the spaceship and also the wings I'm working on the top part now and I'm working on the guns in front now I'm working up the tail if you look at the tail part I'm adding a couple of lines there and I'm going to work a bit on the edges as well and we are almost done uh, yeah here I decided to add a bit of detail I'm adding these numbers on the side of the plane and a little icon or logo or something like that and uh, I'm continue adding these lines these sketchy lines defining the shape and I'm also using the eraser tool remember from a previous episode erasing out from the object is a really great way to add some interesting elements and parts so by by removing those two little pieces I made it a bit more interesting 
Okay, I'm still working on these lines on the spaceship and defining a bit better the uh, the wings, and the edges. As you can see, again, I'm working on the edges using the mixer brush tool again a bit just to blend together some details. And we are almost there. I'm working here a bit on the wing, just cleaning up the edge making it nice and round now I'm getting rid of the construction lines and I'm cleaning up the shadows as well again I'm working globally so I'm always going through the whole image like a scanner uh, with my eye and I'm looking for uh, details that I can work and make better and that's it that's the final sketch and as I said it took me roughly an hour, but um, if you want, from this point on, you can create a final rendering if you spend a couple of more hours on it, and you can even create the environment. But I highly recommend, if you if you never done sketches like this before, and I highly recommend to, instead of working it further, try to create at least 10 sketches like this before you go further with your technique so this is a really important part of the digital art uh, sketching up objects and we will talk about sketching up uh, humans as well so um, this is mainly if, if you create objects weapons vehicles spaceships so uh, if you learn this you basically practice the most important elements like using a perspective uh, I mean, using vanishing points, using uh, the sketching technique, and using shading. So, altogether, these three things that we learned in previous episodes combined in this uh, technique, and that's what makes it really valuable. So, try to practice this as much as you can, and you'll see that you can improve really quickly uh, whenever you create uh, a new sketch or concept. And also remember, before you start creating a sketch like this in perspective, try to first create those little thumbnails from side view or, or front, of, uh, front view uh, of, the, of the object that you would like to draw, because that helps you uh, to get started and have a rough idea before you get into perspective. Okay, so that's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed uh, today's episode and next week we are going to continue practicing the techniques that we already learned but we will use them for another interesting project thanks a lot for your attention and see you next week